Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this hair review. Today I will be reviewing this gorgeous bob from Sally Hair. They sent me this beautiful 12 inch 5x5 HD closure wig and I am going to be showing you how I install this wig. All the details for this wig will be in the description box down below. Please don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. Enjoy! So before we go into the actual review, I'm just going to show you how I pluck the hairline. I'm not really one for plucking the hairline like fine fine or having that um, balding closure or frontal look. I just pluck it to make it look a bit more natural. And as you can see, I am moving my tweezers across, not plucking in the same place. And I'm also being careful as to not pull out a clump of hair. Then I'm combing back removing the excess hair and I'm going to open up another line which is behind the actual hairline of the wig and then I'm going to go in with my tweezers again this is a sped up so take your time when you do it and move slowly don't pluck in the same place for too long otherwise you're going to get an over plug closure So the secret to my sleek and straight hair is that I blow dry my hair before I straighten it. Then I section it as you see me doing over here in two, yeah, I think I like to do two rows per section and then I clip it up and when I straighten I go into the two rows at a time and I section very small sections so I can sweep the straightener through and that way the hair is super straight and sleek. And that is how I straighten my hair to ensure that it's sleeked out and straight. And that is all I do because I know you're going to ask. My straightener is the Tony and Guy White Plate Straightener from Clicks. So the hair came in this silk bag and you can see it says Silly Hair. Then it came in the box and they included wig caps, this comb, this edge brush, a headband, some clips and lashes and this is what the wig looks like it is a five by five closure um bob wig and it's got three combs to secure it i'm just going to clean up my hairline as i do usually then i'm just going to throw that thing on honey and then i'm just going to move the hair out of my face so i can get ready to use some gotta be to get that closure to melt i did not bleach this closure but you can see the way i plucked it look how natural that looks i love 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 how my plucking looks so this time around, I'm doing something different. I'm going to cut the lace before I glue uh, the hair down. And I'm just going to cut in a zigzag motion because that ends up blending in much better and it looks way more natural. And here's a little trick. I like to cut off these little closure tabs that you get on closures. And this just helps the, the closure blend out a lot more because then you can't see where the closure starts or ends. And I just like to cut on either side to remove that just so my wig is more natural and easy to blend. 
Y'all, I'm still on the market for a hairspray that I can use other than got to be to tag down my wigs. But the thing is, I am not finding one in South Africa. We don't have the ORS one on our market yet. And I don't want to use gels because I feel like that's more harmful to my hair. So the sprays are doing quite well, but I just need to find an alternative to the got to be glued. So I'm just going to work that in with the end of the comb. And as you can see, that closure is disappearing, even though the knots are not bleached. To further lay my edges, I'm going in with my elastic band. Guys, this is just regular elastic band that I got from like a material shop. I bought a lot of it and then I just cut as I go, or, like cut as much as I need. And then I'm just going to comb the hair. Oh, this bob is so perfect for going back to work. I am straightening it because I want to give it a slight bump at the end there. But as you can see, this hair is close to perfect and it didn't need much work. So after a few minutes, I had to take the elastic off. I tied it too tight and I didn't want to cut off my circulation child. But this is what the wig looks like. To ensure that my wig lays flat by the closure, I'm just going in with my hot comb and I'm just trying to create like a slight bump in the front just so it's not like flat flat on my face. Now y'all know I have never tried baby hairs but in the next couple of clips you're going to see me trying to make some baby hairs. It kind of worked. I did like the look and feel it was giving. So I just pulled up some of the hair in the front of the wig and I went in with my mini scissors and I used the ORS foam wrap mousse to slick it down. But I think I need something better. Please share in the comment section what you guys use to lay your baby hairs because I think that is something I'm going to be trying going forward. I think it gave such a cute look but also it helped the wig look a little better. And that is what it looked like. Like not bad for a beginner. <laughs> Okay y'all, so um, that is the install done. I just did my makeup and I really, really like the wig. I do wish it was a little bit like thicker, but it's not too bad and it blended in quite nicely. I just think I should have bleached the knots, which I'll probably do like afterwards. So this hair is from Sally Hair and it is the 5x5 12 inch closure wig. It is, I think it's 150 density, um, yeah, they don't state, but it is very nice. It's soft hair. I like it. It is like the perfect back to work wig, I think, because it's kind of hot and you don't want to wear long hair, but I really, really like this hair, you guys. I will leave all the details for you in the description box down below. If you have any questions regarding the hair or regarding my installs, please leave them for me in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.